The biggest problem I encounter is people don't give themselves permission to stop. Mm. People don't give themselves permission to pause. And in this world that we're in now, obviously, you know, being the COVID-related world where people are sort of having more time for themselves, a lot of them don't like what they see because people typically when they stop or slow down, they get busier with their mind and that's what stops them. Mm. Oh, my God, there's just too much going on up there. I don't like what I see. I don't like what I'm experiencing. So they'll stop it because they don't want to turn towards it. And when they stop, the ugliness can sometimes seep up. Exactly. And because then they get more anxious about it. It's not working. It's not working. Yes. And then they get anxious about thinking. So they're trying not to think. And then it's just, we can't stop thinking. Our minds, that's what they do. They think just like the eyes see, just like the ears hear. That's what the mind does. It thinks, but it's just about observing your thoughts, observing your thoughts without judgment. And in this you know, situation right now, there's a lot of negative thoughts. There's a lot of what if thoughts, you know, what if this keeps going? What if, what if, what if, and we can get caught up in our thoughts. So the, the practice of meditation and mindfulness is observing your thoughts, you know, not giving them too much energy, letting them fade away. So if they are anxious thoughts, turn towards them. What is it that's creating that anxiety? What is it that's actually doing that? So, you know, to really so sit with those thoughts, with observe them. those thoughts, explore turn towards those them. thoughts, yeah. lift up the covers and, you know, have a really good look around and, and see if there's anything genuinely there to be afraid of. Yeah, and, and also what I use is actually a simple filter, actually, sometimes. It's a, especially now with what's going on, I, I, I ask people to observe their thoughts and mm -hmm. put them through this really two-step filter process. So if you're having a negative thought or an uncertain thought or an anxious thought and it's starting to occupy your mind, the first question I ask that thought, so you're turning towards your thought, you're asking it a question, is, is it true? Mm. Is it real? Is it a fact? Like, is it, so you're observing that. That'll catch 90% of negative thoughts. Normally it's not true. You've just created this whole scenario or dialogue in your mind. And then if it sneaks through that, that filter, the second filter I ask it is, ask that thought, is it useful? And again, that'll catch the rest because normally it's a, a catastrophizing thought or a worrying thought or something that's just ruminating through your mind. Then I ask it, is it useful? And then the practice is to accept it or let it go or to you know, become present to what you're doing. But that's the first two filter systems and that will catch 99% of uncertain, anxious, fearful, negative thoughts.